for one of the deepest mysteries in the universe. The reveal was a global event with simultaneous news conferences around the world. Here it is. The first ever image of a black hole. We are delighted to be able to report to you today that we have seen what we thought was unseeable. Scientists describe it as a monster. At a supermassive black hole that's almost the size of our entire solar system. This black hole was found in a galaxy called M87, 55 million light years away from Earth. The image a bit fuzzy, but it does show the inner edge of the black hole, the so-called event horizon, the space where the gravitational pull is so strong that even light can't escape. Surrounding this is a bright orange ring of fire caused by superheated gases and dust. To see something for the first time, you know, to know that you've uncovered part of the universe that was off limits to us. When that happens, it's an extraordinary feeling. To capture this first ever image, not one, but a network of eight giant telescopes were scattered around the globe, creating an Earth-sized telescope and collecting millions of gigabytes of data. This marks the beginning of a new era in astronomy, a new era of, of research into gravity, um, and we really just are standing at the threshold today. At nearly light speed. The image confirms what scientists had believed what a black hole would look like. But it also shows that Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity was right all those years ago. Cass Russi, CBC News, Toronto. So there's no one better to talk to on a day like this than Bob McDonald. So Bob, for sure, this feels like a marvel, but why is directly seeing a black hole so important for science? Well, Adrian, it shows us that they're really out there. We've finally seen one. I mean, they've been theorizing about these things for so many years and predicting what they would be like, but until you see one in nature, you don't know if you're right. So, yeah, the scientists are right. That's why they're all jumping up and down, and they're so happy about it. But when I look at that picture and I see that fuzzy donut, the dark space in the middle, I see the limits of our knowledge because we don't know what goes on in there because once you pass that event horizon, all of the laws of physics that we know know in our universe just break down. So it's kind of exciting that now we can see black holes in action and try to figure out one of the most fundamental forces in nature, gravity. That's holding you in your chair right now. It reaches out to the edge of the universe, but we can't control it. And maybe by understanding it a little better someday, we who knows, we might even be able to turn it off. <laughs> so if we know it's real and we've seen it, what do you, what do, you do with that information? Well, this is fundamental science. It's basic science, just trying to understand how the universe works. But if you think about what we learned when we found other forces, look what happened when we found magnetism. We could make compasses and sail over the horizon. When we discovered electricity, my God, look what happened with that stuff. So gravity is another one of these forces that's out there. We can't control it, but if we could, or if we can integrate it with all the other forces in the universe, then who knows what that's going to bring. It's going to be future generations, grandchildren from now, who will benefit from it. But right now, we just want to understand how it works, and today was a big milestone by actually being able, to, being able to see it work in action for real. There are no limits to your enthusiasm. Bob <laughs> McDonald, thanks very much. Okay, Adrian.